Um, I think we could start off by a very simple question, and I think, Melanie, you'd be really great at this. Let's talk about um, some basic definitions. What's the difference between transactional versus subscription versus ad supporting it? Ad supported. When do they take place, um, and what's the what's the pricing involved in each? That's kind of an involved question, isn't it? <laughs> sure. No. Um, in terms of transactional, that's everything that includes a rental or an electronic sell through. So it could be with cable operators, telco companies. Examples of that would be anyone from Directv, which is satellite, actually. Um, uh, Comcast, which is the largest cable operator, and then a telco company would be Verizon or AT&T. Um, then you also have iTunes, Vudu, Vimeo has transactional. Um, and then in terms of subscription VOD, I mean, everyone knows that the gorilla in the room is Netflix in terms of that, where you actually pay a monthly fee to have that membership. There's other services who do it too. Um, Amazon Prime would be one. Another one would be Hulu Plus. And then ad supported is actually where about every seven minutes or so, there's an ad break where you can watch something for free, but you're actually being paid based on someone watching the ad in between. And Hulu Classic is the primary one for that. Great, great. Um, and can you expand a little bit on when they can take place and sort of the the, the overall pricing of each? Yeah, I mean, well, it really is going to depend, and I'm sure John can touch on this too, but as can Jason, there's so many different ways in which you can window a film now. Um, so if you were to do what's called pre-theatrical or Magnolia refers to it sometimes as ultra, um, where you could have a film go out prior to its theatrical release, and that price point for rental is approximately $9.99, depending on the service. Um, day and date theatrical releases can rent for approximately six ninety nine, dollars um, And then when you get into electronic sell-through, depending on which tier you decide to price at, it can be anywhere from $19.99 to $9.99, depending on SD or HD. Sometimes you can even lower it and do a stunt where you have a $0.99 cent rental with some places like iTunes or Amazon. And then for uh, subscription and things like that, it's actually you're paying for the service for a monthly, so you actually receive a license fee to be a part of that. And the license fees can vary greatly, and the length of the term can vary too. 